Hi there, welcome to the Happy Chicken Coop YouTube channel. Thanks for joining us today. We're gonna to be talking about the Dominique chicken. Pretty much everything that you need to know about the breed and if it's the right one for you. Before we get into that, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Also be sure to subscribe to our website, thehappychickencoop.com. If you subscribe using the link in the description, you will receive a free ebook on the 10 best egg laying chicken breeds. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. So the Dominique is said to be America's oldest chicken breed. It was brought to the US by settlers and helped them survive the brutal first years of colonization. They were used as dual purpose hens and even their feathers were used to stuff pillows, truly a multi-purpose hen. Unlike our present day hens, they were not spoiled at all. Indeed, they had to provide for themselves and exist on what they could find when roaming. In this video, I'll discuss everything you need to know about this chicken, including its egg production, expected temperament, and how to tell the difference between them and barred rocks and much more. So let's talk about the background in history. There's several theories about the origin of the Dominique. It was said to have been brought to America by the pilgrims, hence their original name, Pilgrim Fowl. It was also rumored to have come from the French colony of Saint Dominique, which is what is now Haiti. The name Dominicker comes from this story. Other names for this bird have been Blue Spotted Hen, Old Gray Hen, Pilgrim Fowl, Dominic and Dominicker. It's likely we will never know the exact origin and lineage of this bird, but we do know it is indispensable to the early settlers as it was a hardy little bird that foraged for its existence. Without a doubt, it's the oldest American breed of chicken being known to sellers in the Eastern US since the 1750s, the original Dominique was both a single comb and rose comb, and folks didn't pay much attention to standards back then. It was the New York Poultry Society that decided the Dominique should be a rose comb and set out to create the standard for this breed. The Dominique has had periods of high popularity and periods of near extinction during its career. The first period of decline was in the 1920s where it survived the Great Depression and the First World War. Many small farm folks kept the Dominique because of its thriftiness and hardiness. The second crisis came when the poultry industry became mechanized and industrial. The Dominique, like many other breeds, was deemed not productive enough for commercial industry and a slow but steady decline started. By the 1970s, only four breeds of flocks were to exist. The American Livestock Breed Conservancy convinced the flock owners to participate in a breeding program in order to save the Dominique. Fortunately, today, their endangered status is now classified as watch. Renewed interest in the Dominique as a homestead small holding bird has seen those numbers rise steadily. Now let's talk about the appearance and standard. Spotting the difference between the barred rock and a Dominique is all in the eye. First and foremost, the tail is the comb. Barred rocks have an upright single comb. Dominiques have a flattened cushion comb called a rose comb. The rose comb comes in a very handy in cold northern climate since they are resistant to frostbite. A true rose comb will have a leader. This is a slightly backwards facing spike at the back end of the comb. The second tell is the barring. The barred rock has crisp black and white barring with high contrast on the black and white, whereas the Dominique has more staggered barring or cuckoo pattern. The contrast between the black and white is very low key with the feathers being black slate and the white being white or off-white. The comb, wattles, and earlobes are all red, indicating in this case, a brown egg layer. The beak is short and quite stout and yellow horn in color. Eyes are reddish bay in color. The Dominique is a well-rounded bird. The back being of medium length and moderately broad. The back is concave in shape, rising up to the tail, which is carried at a 45 degree angle. The wings are quite large, but always neatly folded. The breast is rounded full. The hackles, saddle, and sickle feathers on the boys are usually long and well curved. Legs are short and stout, clean feathered and yellow in color. There are four toes to each foot. As far as the breed standard, prior to 1870, there was no written standard for Dominiques. Because of this, there is much uncertainty about what made a good Dominique. At this time, many birds called Dominiques had single combs and other impurities for the breed we now know as Dominiques. At the end of 1870s, New York Poultry Society decided to clear up the confusion over the breed, the standard was drawn up that stated Dominiques should have a rose comb. All other hens were considered to be Plymouth rocks. Essentially, if the bird had a rose comb, it was a Dominique, and if it had a single comb, it was barred rock. This caused a certain amount of uproar among breeders, and the standard was redrawn several times, but in 1914, standard was implemented that everyone could live with. At least a small part of the descent was probably created by those crafty individuals who ex exhibited a single comb in both the Dominique and barred rock categories in order to gather more points. Now let's talk about the disposition. Sweet, gentle, calm, and docile all apply to this little hen. I've never met a Dominique that I didn't like. They are friendly and often following you around for treats. The chicks will be friendly too. 
gathering around your feet, so you need to take care not to step on them. Dominiques are steady and dependable hens that like to forage if allowed and will do well in confinement as well. The roosters can be aggressive, especially around the mating season, but in general are not aggressive to their keepers. When grown, males will weigh around seven pounds and the females at five. There are bantam dominiques available and they weigh 28 ounces for males and 26 ounces for females. Now let's talk about the egg laying and broodiness. These hens lay a medium-sized light brown egg. They can lay between 230 and 270 eggs per year, which equates to roughly four eggs per week. Today's Dominiques are said to be occasionally broody, but they must have been broody back in colonial times. Otherwise, they would have not endured this long. Mothers are known to be very good mothers, attentive to their chicks. They also have a high rate of success in raising their brood. The Dominique chicks are auto-sexing, so are easy to classify at hatching. Dominique chicks have whitish head spots. In the females, the spots are usually small and concentrated. The male spots are more diffuse and scattered. The second way to tell is that the males will have dark yellow or orange legs. The females will have burnt orange brownish legs. This method is not as reliable as the head spot, especially if comparing different strains of birds. So is this the right bird for you? It's a very good choice for families as they are gentle and non-aggressive, an excellent choice for chickens, although not a lap chicken. They don't seem to mind being picked up. If you have some assertive breeds in your flock, you'll need to keep an eye open for bullying that might be directed at your Dominique chicken. They would do well in a flock of similar gentle natured birds, such as Cochins, Orpingtons and Polish, they're really low maintenance and very self-sufficient, so very suitable for first-time chicken keepers. An added bonus is they're fast growers too. They also show well because of their calm demeanor and tolerant attitude. This makes them a great young hen for young farmers and a 4-H project. As far as health issues, it's a robust and hardy bird with very little in the way of health issues. It has a rose comb, so again, not troubled by cold temperatures causing frostbite. As with all birds, keep an eye on parasites. To summarize, although breeding programs have been successful, the number of Dominique chickens worldwide remains very low. With the recent interest in backyard chickens and sustainability, the Dominique is well suited as a homesteader hen. They can free range for most of their food and are low maintenance and produce enough eggs for a family. We hope you've enjoyed this little American American gem and will consider adding them to your flock let us know in the comment section below your experience with dominiques or if you've actually owned any that's going to do it for us here at the happy chicken coop thanks for listening if you find our content interesting if you learn something new make sure to subscribe to the channel share this video with your friends and with that i hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you soon